Hi, my name is Eric from Twisted Throttle, and I'm here at the Iron Horse Motorcycle Resort in Stokoa, North Carolina, to show you how to outfit your bike with Bags Connection luggage for travel. While lots of luggage will get you to your destination, uh, not all of it will get you there dry without having things melt on your exhaust pipe or get caught in your wheel. Um, Bags Connection has tried to solve that with a uh, number of features. First, they have a tie-down system that will work on just about any bike and be very quick to get on and off. Second, all their bags are waterproof so that no matter how much it rains, your stuff is going to show up dry. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is a Bags Connection rear bag. It's the smallest of the uh, rear seat bags that Bags Connection offers. Uh, they do have larger bags that are up to the size of a three-case hard luggage system. All bags come with four of these straps. They have a loop on one side and a flat strap on the other side. Here's a close-up of how the Bags Connection bags attach to a bike. At this point, you've got a strap that's under the elastic. When you're taking the bag off, you pull the strap out of the elastic and pinch the connector. Slide that strap out, pull it off, and that point's off, ready to take off the bike. Reach around to this point. Again, the strap comes out of the elastic, so you have your excess. You pinch the connector, and off comes the bag. When you're ready to reattach, all you do is feed your front strap through the passenger foot peg, and slide that strap up into the connector. It's like a mini truck tie down. And back into the bike, you wrap your strap through the frame, and again, pinch the connector, pull through. Not every bike has a rear grab rail or rear luggage rack that you can strap a bags connection bag down to. For those bikes, we include two D-rings with a little strap on them in the kit. These D-rings can be bolted directly into the license plate bracket at the top corners of the license plate. Bags Connection straps will fit just about any bike. Just remember, don't touch your exhaust with the strap when you're setting the bag up. Once this bag is tied down, it's not going anywhere. Um, the bag has waterproof zippers on the side pockets so that no matter how much it rains, the stuff in there stays dry. The cap of the bag covers the zippers going into the main storage compartment of the bag so that no matter how much it rains, that cap is covering the zippers, which are the only vulnerable part of this bag, so your stuff stays dry. The rear bag also has a few other neat features. The side pocket here zips off so you can use it as a fanny pack. The top of the bag has an expansion zip. So while this bag is pretty compact, you can expand it so that it will be large enough to fit a helmet or a weekend's worth of clothes. The rear bag also comes with a sheet of paint protection film. You can cut out pieces of this to lay down on any painted bodywork that the bag touches, or even that the strap touches. The film is self-adhesive and will take the beating that a uh, strap or a bag might put on your, your bike if you didn't have some sort of paint protection film. Uh, when the film gets bad, just peel it off and put a new piece on. And that way, you save yourself from any grit or sand that might get between the bag and your bike. All the bags have a carry handle. But if you're going to be walking around all day long, you might want to use the backpack straps. The backpack straps snap right into the D-ring on the bag. So you can carry it around while you're doing whatever you got to do. The Speed Pack is our monster bag. This thing will hold as much as a three-case hard luggage system, and it has the ability to strap on one of our tent bags on the top if you're carrying a tent or a tripod. It hooks up to the bike the same way the rear bag does, and no matter how much weight you put into this thing, it's not going to sag and get caught against a muffler 
or an exhaust. It's got a built-in aluminum frame that's within the bag itself to prevent the bag from sagging. No matter how hard you push, this isn't going anywhere. Speed pack, you're going to want to take this strap and run it through that passenger foot peg, just like you did on, on the rear bag. But before going up to this tie down, you're going to loop the strap through this D-ring. This D-ring channels the strap away from your exhaust and away from your bodywork. So you're not going to scratch up your bodywork and you're not going to burn the strap on the exhaust. Although it's tough to see in the video, this side pocket is clearing the exhaust by about a quarter inch. That's all you need if you're using a speed pack because the bag is stiff. It won't flex in and get stuck on the muffler. Sitting over the back seat, you've got something you can use as both a backrest and as heavy duty luggage capacity. It's totally waterproof without any kind of rain cover. But if you want to, you can use the included liner bag, which is also waterproof, to put your stuff in. When you pack your bag, pack everything inside the liner, cinch it shut. Then close the bag, and you're waterproof and ready to go.